there is a crazy new agent that you can create that almost no one is talking about because that agent allows businesses to create crazy offers that they can use on their social media profiles or in their ads. Imagine a fitness coach that can provide custom fitness plans to all their followers on their Instagram. And what this agent can do is that it can ask good questions to a lead, capture a bunch of information, and then create a custom fitness plan that it can then send to their email in a Google Docs. The great thing about this is a very natural way of asking for someone's email. So by doing this, the business, the fitness coach is gathering emails that they can now start selling to. Let me show you exactly how this works. If a user writes, I want a fitness plan. This could be a custom keyword inside of Instagram, for example, that they could write. It asks these questions. What's your main fitness goal? Weight loss, beginner, three times a week and I have access to a gym. Now it asks for the email address and a name where it can send the fitness plan. There we go. You can see it created a document, it updated a Google Sheet and it sent an email. So let's see what it actually did. Inside our Google Sheet, you can now see we have information right here, the email and a bit of information about them. And we have also sent a four, four week weight loss fitness plan that, that has a link right here and a Google Sheet, where when we open it, we have a custom plan for Albert Olgaard with exactly what they need to do in order to lose weight with their exact preferences. Three sessions a week, beginner, and you can see increased intensity, a very detailed fitness plan right here. Imagine a fitness coach that can run an offer and that can send their videos that if you want a completely free plan, just DM me and I'll send it to you. That's the power of what this agent can do, because then you can connect this to Instagram, you can connect it to whatever you want, where everyone now gets free fitness plans. Awesome. So that is what we'll be creating in this video. And this is an agent, depending on how big the client is, that you could sell for anywhere between 300 and a thousand bucks a month. In Inside of build my agent IO, we click create agent and then we write create an agent with access to Google Docs, Gmail, and Google Sheets. It'll now create our agent and it'll add the right tools. Awesome. Now we have an agent with access to Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Sheets. The first thing I'll do is that I'll hit into the agent settings right here and I'll change the model to Grok for fast. This is an extremely cheap model that doesn't use that many credits. And it's also quite good. And you see inside the prompt, we have access to all of these things. If I scroll down to advanced settings, I'll set the temperature to something like 0.3. We don't want two random responses here. We want it to be pretty consistent. The next thing we want to do is connect our tools. I'll connect Gmail and then I will connect Google Docs. And the last thing we're connecting is Google Sheets. Now we want to instruct our agent in exactly what we want it to do. So I'm going to write, please update my prompt so that it does this. First, it should ask three questions to the user about their fitness goals, level and access to equipment. Next, it should ask for their name and email. Include text here that we will use this for future updates as well. So they agree to this by providing their email, then it should create a custom fitness plan for them in Google Docs. It should send this over Gmail and at the end, without telling the user, it should also add lead information in a Google Sheet. I hit enter and let's update our prompt. Added a lot of information here about what it actually needs to have access to. So let's apply this. And now our prompt has been updated with the new information. So let's test it, shall we? We might need to refine this a bit, but let's see what it says. Hi, want to lose weight, beginner. I have access to a full gym. By sharing your email, you're agreeing to receive fitness rate updates from me. Once I have that, I'll create and email your custom four week beginner weight loss plan right away. Hit enter. Let's see if it knows how to utilize the tools correctly. Because that is usually the hardest part. That is to get the AI to understand how it actually uses the tools. There we go. It created a document and it sent it over email. Let's see if it did that correctly first. So this all looked correctly and they can click open your plan here or they can click this docs document. And here we have the exact fitness plan. So that looks pretty good, but we can see that it failed with the Google Sheets. It says right here, sheet leads not found. The Google Sheets are class data. Uh, the caller does not have permission. All right, it probably doesn't know which sheet that it should update it in. So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna create a new Google Sheet that I am going to call fitness 
plan leads, then I am going to call this leads like this. Because what I can do now is that I can copy this URL. This has this ID right here, so we can help it. We can give it to that and help it find at least instruct the agent in using this sheet ID where row one is name, row two is email, and row three is a short description of the lead and their fitness level. Update the sheet that is called leads. Now we have given it all the information that it needs. It knows that it should update the sheet that's called leads. It, up, it knows what sheet ID that it should use. If you scroll down, you can see it has added more information. It has removed what it usually said about the document. It has now added more information about the ID, the sheet name, leads. Now it should work. So I'm gonna click apply here. Now we've updated our prompt and let's try it again, shall we? So I'll write hi and see what it says. All right, created the document, sent the email and created a spreadsheet row. So if we go inside of the fitness plan leads, only created the row, it didn't actually add the values. So we just need to get it to update the row correctly. I can probably just get it to copy this response data right here and just say, right now it didn't actually add the information. It just inserted an empty row. Please update accordingly. So now we give it the entire context of what it's actually sending in the API response to our agent and that will give it some context to for what it should update inside of our prompt. Let's see if this works. Try to add the row in sheets again. There we go. Now you can see it has added the name, email, and description. So what we need to do now, because this might not work every time, is that we try it from the top again. Let's see if it knows how to utilize all the tools now. It's very good to give the entire context of the logs to the agent builder because then it'll know exactly what's going wrong, what's being passed wrong in the request. All right, so we have three greens. Created the document, send an email. Let's first check if it's in the right email. Put it right there, your personalized weight loss fitness plan, beginning with gym access. Let's see if it also added the lead, said, but it added it at the top. I think it's because we might be using a wrong tool. I think the batch update is usually better. So I'm gonna instruct my agent now in using this instead. So batch update spreadsheet, gonna pass it this tool ID right here, and I'm gonna tell it it's still messing up the spreadsheet add. Can you please instruct it in using this tool instead. In general, I always use this tool instead because I think it's more consistent. So now we've basically just changed what tool it should use with new information. Let's see if it can edit correctly now. Failed the first batch update in valid cell location, but then it did it correctly in the other one. Does it edit correctly? You can see the error says that it wants to add an A1 or a mid for a pending rows. Instruct it in always omitting right here. So it just ends rows. Thank you. Now we are just optimizing this. If I deployed it, it would work fine. But we want it to be as fast and good as possible without doing any failed tool calls. Let's see if that works. All right. No errors now, and it was added to the bottom, which is what we want. Now it works. One thing I did see though, which I want to improve, is the way that it does markdown inside of these. You can see this docs right here can look much, much better. So I'm going to instruct the agent this. I'm going to instruct it in that works. Next up, I want the agent to create nice looking markdown when it creates a Google Docs with headlines and sub headlines. That's just gonna make it a little, little better, which is what I want. Two logs, document markdown. Ah, oh, it's because it was using the wrong tool. Cool. It is a lot in like what tools it's using because this tool allows it to actually use markdown. Also buy that, then we're gonna try it again. There we go. Now it used the tools, Google Doc markdown. See if we like this markdown better. Yes, I think this looks way, way better with bold text, sub headlines. This just looks way more professional. That is awesome. What I did see though, is that it still did this right there. Still doesn't omit for pending rows. Always does it in the second try though. But it still does this the first time and then afterwards it successfully does this. Fix that. Thank you very much. So I think we just need today, I need to make it even more clear that it should always omit that thing that it's setting. Let's see what our here apparently says right here. Now it's set in stone. 
now it should be able to fix it. It still does it wrong. When it gets stuck in a loop, sometimes it helps going back and then going in again, because then this agent builder resets. And we can do like this, update the prompt, so this doesn't happen. I want it to just append the row always. Now the agent's memory is reset, so now it might try to take a different approach. Cool, let's try it once again. What I'll do is that I'll just try and delete all of this. Maybe this is too much information for it that makes it do something that it's not supposed to. So save the changes and let's try again, shall we? It still gets that error. I'm going to say that this is fine for now. It still works. It's just gonna take a little longer, but I guess that's fine. Now we have a working agent that can create a Google Docs, send it on Gmail and add the lead information inside of this sheet right here. This is basically just farming leads on autopilot because the fitness coach could set this up on their Instagram and now he's getting a lot of emails that he can use for email campaigns add to his newsletter that he can end up converting. You could also, if you wanted to do additional information, you could also ask for the phone number in the conversation and then also add that to the sheet. To deploy it, all we would do is click deploy agent right here and then if we don't have it already we can create a new sub account i can call this one for fitness coach and then we can choose where we want it another interesting use case is actually as a website widget you can place this as a website and then people that sign up and provide the information they get a free fitness program could also do it over sms for example if they have a list and say hey man interesting in a free program but uh, i think that either messenger coaches that are active on facebook or instagram is going to be the best use case for this so we're going to choose Instagram, going to call this agent for Instagram agent, and now we can deploy it. There we go. We can now go to the agent, which is going to open this sub account right here. And now you can see we have our inst Instagram agent right here. And all we need to do now is just hook it up to many chats so it has access to our Instagram. The way we do that, and I'm not going to show that in this video, but is that you can click this show setup guide right here. And this guide basically shows you how to set up Minichat where you also get a free month of Minichat. That is how you create an agent that has access to Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Sheets. What I will do is that I will also clone this as a template to save you a bunch of time. I can clone this as a template. This is an admin. So I'm just going to call this fitness plan agent. An agent that can create fitness plans, send them an email and collect lead information in a Google Sheet. I am going to save this template just like that because now when you go to create a new agent, this is something that I only have access to where I can add my own agents as templates for you guys, is that in the template section, you will now see the fitness plan agent right here. So you can just use this, then you don't have to go through all the pain that I went through in this video of setting up the template. You can just click on here, click build agent, and now you have access to that agent as well. You're welcome for that, guys. One thing that you need to remember to do, though, is because we set the sheet ID inside of here, you need to go in and change the sheet ID or just tell it in the chat to change the sheet ID so it actually creates it in the right Google Sheet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found it valuable. If you have any questions, then make a post inside of school or leave it in the comments below.